democracy where everyone helps out. And G is for the Greeks who said, Let's see what that's about. In Athens, everyone could vote their decision carry the day. Except for slaves and women who don't matter anyway. All right, here we go. You know, the founding fathers launched a government to make us proud. As long as you had land and were rather wise endowed. The Indians were hunted, you know, blacks were slaves down south. But that's all in the past, right? Now we've got things straightened out. You know, today it's way much better, but we've worked out all the kinks. It's free and fair, and we don't care what anybody thinks. I challenge you to find a single thing that we do wrong. You know, everybody's happy, and we all get along. Ain't that true? That's the smarts behind you, by the way. More about them at the smartsman.com. That's our show for tonight. You can join the network of listeners who help us build the show, subscribe to the podcast, check out the Loophole blog, get tickets, future tapings, all that stuff at minnesotapublicradio.org slash in the loop. In the Loop is produced by Julie Seidel, Sandin Totten, and Larissa Anderson. Our interns are Bradley Campbell and Anton Bryant. Thanks to Molly Bloom, Melody Yang, and Preston Wright for Public Insight Journalism. We get multimedia help from Christina Schmidt. Our photographer is Jeremy Pavlik. Live assistance tonight from Ambar Espinosa. Our technical director is Josh Kubasta with uh, engineer Corey Jensen and live producer Alan Freckman. Jim Gates is our editor. Our senior producer is Mark Cruel. Production of In the Loop is supervised by Lee Bishop. Our executive producer is Michael Scholar. Thanks to all of our guests tonight. Of course, our audience who joined us here at Minnesota Public Radio. I'm Jeff Orch. We'll see you next time. In the Loop.